guitar buddies, some cool jazz there from Kenny Burrell. That was Midnight Blue. So I played through the main melody section and then the first solo improvisation, which hopefully will give you some ideas for creating your own solos. So for the intro, I played... Just played some double stops, A flat and C on one and one on the G and B strings, up to B flat and D on three and three, then C and E flat on five and four, back to B flat and D. Okay, if I was wanting to fill those out as bigger chords, um, I could play F minor seven, G minor seven, A flat six, back to G minor seven. Okay, um, so that's kind of where these double stops are taken from, okay? It's nice and jazzy and clean to just do it as those nice, nice simple double stops. Okay, and then we're into the first main melody. So I'm sliding to an F. So this is based around mainly the F blue scale and the F minor scale. Okay, um, so we're starting in the F blue scale. So I'm sort of sliding to an F, then playing A flat and F. So slide to three, one, three of the D and G strings. Then I'm sliding from three to, to five, B flat to C, and back again. Pulling off to one, so back to F on three on the D string. Then E flat, F, one, three on the D strings. And then this is what I play pretty much between every phrase on this first section. A B flat and an E flat, it's a little stab. So three and four on the G and B strings. So and then I'm playing, I'm playing F, A flat, C. So three, one, five on the D and G strings. And E flat F, four to six. And then very jazzy little trill. So I'm hammering and pulling on B flat to B. That's a little blue note there from the blue scale. Down to one. So down to A flat on the G string. Then F, E flat, F, three, one, three again. That's up. And then it just repeats. Yeah, always with that little in between. So slowly, um, sorry. going up the neck. So I'm playing C, F, and then D flat, F, B flat, E flat. Okay. Um, which you may recognize a, a semitone higher as chord drum kiss. Okay. So we've got um, an E flat nine there. So I'm playing 11, 10, 11, 11 on the D, G, B and E strings. So yeah. 
So 10, 10 on D and G strings. So that's C, F, but a B. And then 11, 10, 11, 11. Yeah, but a B. But a B. And then we've got, basically, I'm playing a C alter chord. Okay, we've got a sharp five, the flat nine there. So I'm just playing the top part of that. B flat, E, G sharp, and C sharp. So that's eight, nine, nine, nine. Emergency, okay. So we've got, so we're playing. And then I play C to D flat. The top part of an F minor seven chord. E flat, A flat, C. So that's eight, nine, eight. So slowly so far. Then I play an F and on six on the uh, B string, and then a D and A flat to get so so sort of two notes from a B flat seven chord. So bow. so. D and A flat on seven and nine, and you slide those down. So, there we go. Now I'm playing a B flat minor nine, so I'm playing C A, sorry, C F, sorry, six and uh, five and six on the G and B strings, and then six, six, six. Eight of the D, G, B, and E strings. So, and then just playing six to eight, B flat to C. So, and then just moving that chord shape down two frets. So I've got four, 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 six, G flat, B, E flat, A flat. So we've got. Sorry. And then I'm playing A flat, B flat. And then a, an altered, uh, we've got a C chord, C7 with a sharp nine, sharp five. So just partial chord there, B flat, D sharp, G sharp. So, so play three four four. So four six three four four. And F E flat C E flat F F. So six four five four six six on the B and G strings. So I'll play the whole thing slowly. Once more, a little slower. Okay, and then the whole thing repeats. Oh yeah, and after the first one, we've got... Just playing a C7 sharp nine chord. Three, uh, the classic Hendrix chord. Okay, three, two, three, four, starting on the A string. Three, two, three, four. Back into a repeat. So the second time, I don't play that. I just got. So this is the improvised solo. So hopefully, you, you know, a few some of these licks will give you ideas for creating your own solos. So again, we're still on the F blue scale. A flat, B flat, A flat, F. So the kind of box shape, 
often referred to as the, the BB box, you know, the BB King box. Five, four, six, four, six on this. So four, six, four, six, six. A flat, B flat, A flat, F. And then just put in a little filler, the last part of our intro in. So. Again, just now do a little slide down from my blue note there, B, B to B flat, going down that box shape. So seven, six, four, six, four, five, B, B flat, A flat, F, E flat, C, F. Put that back in, and then we've got. Now we've got the blue scale up in the 13th position. So I'm just sliding to a C on 13 on the B string, an E flat on 16, an F on 13, that's on the B and E strings, C again on 13, A flat on 13 on the G string, to F on 15 on the D string. So back to put those in again. So 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 just using that that blue scale again, familiar old blue scale, and then the next one after blue scale, but now just an octave lower. Just going just straight down the blue scale. A flat F. E flat, C, B flat, A flat, F, E flat, back to F. Four, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three. So, yeah. For the next section, we're using more notes from the F minor scale with a few kind of accidental notes. And we've got, uh, so we've got, C, F, A flat, B flat. So still all notes so far from the uh, blues scale. So that's 10, 10 on G, uh, D and G. 9, 11. And now we've got this F minor one. So we're going down. Okay, we've got an F minor scale there. Which is E flat. D flat, C, B flat, A flat, G, F. Okay, and so if I was playing chords for this, I'd probably play a G minor seven flat five fits nicely over there. But to a C7, altered there. Um, and now, because we've kind of played over a C7 here, we've got a little kind of bluesy, kind of classic rock and roll. That kind of hammer from an E, e flat to an E. Eight, nine, eight. Then D flat, still in the F minor key. B flat C. So, yeah, that's the first bit. And then finish. Okay. So, essentially, it's F minor, but we've got this raised seventh over the C7 chord, or C7 altered. So, So E flat, D flat, C, B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat, E, G, D flat, B flat, C. 11, 9, 8, 11, 9, 8, 10, 8, 9, 8, 
on the D string, 11, 8, 10. Back into the blues scale. So I play B flat, A flat, B flat, A flat, B flat, C, A flat, F. Good. Okay, that's kind of the blue scale around there. So the kind of, in that position, the blue scale would be, if we started on F10, uh, 10, 9, 11, 8, 11, 13. Okay, or, uh, if you had the blue note in there, the B fat. Yeah, but that, you know, so if you're improvising, got you know, you've got all those notes to play about with. Okay, so and then we got so again we're starting on that C to F, ten ten, and going up the F minor scale so we're not really changing scales much here so 10 10 8 9 11 of the D G and B strings then G A flat F still in the same scale so 8 9 10 on B and G and then this is where we've got a little change of notes chromatic passage just to take us to the next phrase C D flat D so so we've got then we've got then we're slightly changing the notes so instead of playing that F minor, we've got E flat, D flat, a B natural, a B flat, and an A. But that B natural member, that's that's in the it's in it's part of the blue scale. So we're still keeping within the blue scale with that that, that alternative note. So So we've got, and at that point, we're kind of on this chord and there's a, a B in there, so it, it fits. So we've got. And then we've got, we're going. A little chromatic. And you can get away with this. You know, going between two notes with a kind of chromatic note in between. So we've got um, an F sharp to F to G. So 11, 10, 12. So. Yeah. And then, kind of similar to what we played early. D flat, B flat, C, F. So, 11, 8, 10, and 10 on G. So on the D and G string. So, and then to finish off that first solo, A flat, B flat, A flat, C, back purely into the blue scale there. Just that lick again that we played earlier. And that lick again. So uh, so that little section there based around the, the F. 
minor scale. Uh, really great little section. So it's worth just, you know. So chords I could play for that would be G, G7, uh, so, so G minor 7 flat 5 to C sharp 5 sharp 9 would be nice. F minor 7, then this is D, a nice substitute for a B flat 7 is a D minor 7 flat 5, okay? Which basically all the notes of a, a D uh, B flat 7 with a ninth but no root. So it actually works quite nice to do. So then I was playing a B flat, um, a B flat minus seven, um, a B over C sharp, a C altered, three, three, and four, four, to F minor. Okay, and that's, that's just some suggested chords. The great thing about jazz is you can substitute lots of chords here and there. There's a great book called Mickey Baker's Jazz Guitar, which I've never really studied music, but I read that years ago, and it's got some great ideas for like chord substitutions. Really old book, but uh, classic. Okay, so I hope that helps, and we'll take a look at the bass next. The bass is, of course, played on a double bass, so I was playing a version of the main bass line, plus kind of just improvising over the chord changes. So I was playing... That's my main bass line, C, E flat, F, G, A flat, G. So I played 8, 6, 8, 10, 11, 10 on the E and A strings. And that goes around, and before we go into the kind of chord melody section, put a little fill in. I just played F and then C, B flat, A flat. Just to take us into, I'm playing now over a G minus seven flat five chord. So I'm just playing the root and the flat five there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, 10 and nine. And then we're playing a, a C seven chord. The next of a C altered with a sharp five, but I'm just playing on the bass, keeping it simple. C E G C eight seven ten ten over an F minor seven chord. Beep, boom, beep, boom, just root and fifth on ten and ten. But, you know, I could put in eight as well on eight. Or this is minus seven. It's really just an idea to improvise around. So I'm just playing 10, 10, 10, 10. Then got a B flat seven chord, or B flat nine, but I'm just playing again like the C root third fifth root. Uh, six, five, eight, eight. B flat D and F and B flat. Go to B flat minus seven, so I'm just flattening that second note to six four and then eight eight. So B flat D flat. Then we've got a chord which you could think of, you know, as a D flat minor seven, um, uh, D flat minor eleven or B over D flat, but basically the notes I'm playing just there were just a G flat and a D flat. To a C. Five, six, five, eight, eight. Five, three, three. And then an F and a C, boom. To take us into repeats. And then back in. And then just all repeats, and over the solo section, you know, 
it was I was playing the same. Um, uh, so I was playing. Uh, just playing. Just adding just extra notes instead of playing. Just. Just adding some notes there. You know, just, just kind of the same thing, but just um, making it kind of swing a little more. And I don't see that solo section. The, the B flat minor seven seems to hang an extra bar. Okay. Well, just uh, listen along. I say it's jazz. So the great thing about it is you can take this and you can just improvise around and just have some fun and use it as a kind of springboard to learn a little more about chords and a few scales and a bit of groovy jazz. So I hope that's been useful and thanks for watching buddies.